Hello. Today we are going to talk about how to simulate data in R. Alright, so this is going to be a very quick one. In order to simulate data in R, we install these packages, start, deployer, and um, R norm. Okay, so for the purpose of this particular lesson, we are going to use known distributions, okay, like your uniform distribution, normal distribution, binomial, poison, and so on and so forth. All right, so what is a simulation of data? Okay, so simulation of data is just the process of creating artificial data that we can use to mimic um, characteristics of uh, um, real world data. So take it for example, you want to simulate data to run a time series analysis or to simulate data to actually do a test uh, a, run a statistical test okay you can actually use this method to do that in r so it's very quick so the first one here is our sets.seed so this sets.seed is just telling us the number of times that our data will be repeated when we run them okay so we can put one two three or four all right so let's do this so control enter one so you would see that um, uh, nothing happened. So you're just telling R what to do to set a number of um, reoccurrence as one. So uh, this first one, we are going to talk about how to run uniform distribution. So this is a quick one. Here is the code. All right. So this is the variable name N N1, and this is the fun the code we would use to run that. So this hundred here is N, telling us the number of numbers. The numbers we how many numbers we want to have okay so here we want to have 100 numbers 100 numbers of data all right then the minimum equal to zero that is to say and the maximum is four that is to say numbers the range of numbers we are going to be having is going to be zero and four all right so let's just control enter this all right so you see it's saved here and we can run this to see our generated numbers so look at them here so you see that they are from one to they are from one to 100 all right because that is what we want that's all stated in the code all right so the next one is going to be our normal distribution you know our normal distribution is distributed with mean and variance right okay so from our variance we can get our standard deviation so here is the code we are using r norm n is 100 number of data we, uh, information we want to have all right 100 you can set this as 1000 whichever one you wish and the mean three you can use the mean four whichever mean you wish to use and of course you know that the root of a variance is your standard deviation so this is standard deviation all right so we can just control enter this it's saved and we would we can run it control enter and you would see the generated uh, simulated data here all right so for binomial distribution we know that binomial distribution talks about the probability of um, success and the probability of failure. All right, so we would run this using the code R binom n one thousand. Then size. The size is talking about the number we are particular with. Okay, so if you want to, if you want three to be the number you are emphasizing on, you put three here. And probability here is the probability of having that three in your data, in the data you are going to generate. So here is four. So if I set probability as zero point five. The probability of having four in that my data is 0 0.5 if i set this as one that is to say everything this everything is going to give me four because the probability of having four will be perfect will be uh, will be the same thing it will be four or throughout so and probability cannot be greater than one so whatever you do your probability should not be greater than one so let me put 0 0.8 which is a high chance of having four in our sample control enter and we run it so you see we have more four here because uh, the probability of having four is quite large 0 0.8 so we go to the next one by poison distribution poison distribution we know that poison distribution is uh, exponential minus uh, lambda summation of uh, lambda raised to the power of x over x factorial so for poison distribution we are particular with the lambda and that's why you're seeing lambda here so just like the previous ones this is r poise and it's 1000 the lambda is equal to 6 so you can set lambda to um, any of the values you wish so control enter this and for this we control enter and you can see the results here at the console all right so for Bernoulli now the only difference between Bernoulli and the distribution and the binomial distribution their similarity is both of them talk about probability of success and failure all right but the difference there is that Bernoulli 
is 0 and 1. So anything greater than 0 and 1, we move to binomial distribution. So um, for this, we we'll still use the code for bi bi binomial. But our size is going to be 1 and nothing greater than 1. Anything greater than 1, you have moved from Bernoulli distribution to a binomial distribution. All right, so this is size 1. The probability here is the probability of having 1 in our simulated data. So we can set this as, if we set this as 1, you will see what will happen. All right, so let's run this. Everything is 1 because the probability is perfect. So for this, let us reduce this to 0 0.9 and run this again all right so in this new one you see that the probably this is 0 0.9 so of course you know that the probability of having one is going to be more so you see for a Bernoulli distribution we just have zero and one okay so if you want to um do a simulation for Bernoulli this is the code you would use all right so this is where we are going to be stopping for this particular lesson in our next lesson we talk about how to customize uh, simulation in R. Take for example you want to do a time series analysis and you want to simulate your data. We'll talk about it in our next um, lesson. Thank you.